Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get this glowy, romantic, warm tone look. I also wanna give a huge thank you to all of you for your continuous love and support on my channel. I promise it never goes unnoticed. And I also wanna give a thank you to Armani Beauty for sponsoring yet again, another video. So without further ado, keep watching to learn this look. For skin prep, I'm gonna be starting off with my Armani Prima Glow On Moisturizing Cream. So I just like to warm it up in my hands first and then lightly press this onto the skin, bringing it down to the neck as well. This makes the most amazing skin prep because it actually doesn't weigh the skin down at all, but it leaves it feeling silky smooth. It's also a moisturizer that works well on all skin types, even oily skin types. For primer, I'm gonna be using my go-to, the Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. This is definitely one of my go-to primers because it keeps the skin hydrated, but at the same time, it does work on mattifying the skin in the right areas, and it never balls up on the skin. There are so many primers that ball up. By the time you go to put foundation on, you'll see this texture on the skin, and that never happens with this primer. Leaves the skin looking nice and glowy, but also mattifies at the same time. Next, I'm gonna be using my Armani Fluid Sheer in the shade too. So I've just taken a little bit and put it on the back of my palm and I'm just going to start working this into the tops of the cheeks. Now you can actually apply this before foundation. You can apply it on top of the foundation or you can mix it into the foundation. I've done it every way and I just feel like I like to switch it up. You guys have seen me mix it into the foundation. This way we're doing it before. I feel like it's a little bit more of a softer glow, which I'm into. For foundation, I'm gonna be using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in shade 7.5. I'm also using the Armani foundation brush to apply my foundation. And I'm just using two different brush techniques, sweeping and stippling. You can sweep to kind of sheer out the coverage, and then you can go in and stipple the brush to build it up. And I feel like this foundation does a really good job of blurring imperfections. I always see my skin looking better the more that I use it, whereas other foundations tend to clog my pores. This one keeps my skin looking radiant and glowy. And then of course, I always wanna bring it down to the neck just to make sure that everything looks seamless. I also feel like I've been talking about these handheld mirrors for months now, and they're finally live on my website. The link is in the bio to purchase your Ash K Home mirror. And with every purchase, I'm gonna be giving away a free pop socket with every order. So make sure you guys check out the link in the bio, and I'm just so excited these are finally up on my website. I know it took me forever, but hey, finally. I'm gonna warm up my skin just a little bit, so I'm gonna be using the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 10 to contour my face. Just gonna start off by putting a line here on the forehead and then also on the sides of the brows. Normally I would never create lines on the face like this because the product can usually indent the foundation, but not in this case. This is a very hydrating concealer, which makes it really easy to blend out and super effortless. And I'm just using another foundation brush by Armani and I'm blending this kind of in a downward direction. I did place my contour kind of high because I want more of a lifted look. Honestly blends like a dream and I love how it leaves more of like a shaded effect. If you are someone that is afraid of blending out your contour because it just feels scary to you, I would definitely give these a shot because they blend so effortlessly and they just kind of melt into the skin. So the key is to just kind of sweep it in the direction that you want it to lay. And you wanna make sure that you blend everything into the hairline. And I'm just bringing it down into the center of my forehead. And then to blend out the nose contour, I'm just gonna bring this down and around. And then whatever's left over, I'm gonna slightly start to contour this into the brow hair. And I feel like by doing this, it creates more of a sultry look whenever you get to the eyeshadow. It's honestly the glow for me. And just wait till we get to the setting powders because they make the skin so dewy. Now to conceal the skin, I'm gonna be using my Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 5.5. I'm gonna start off by just putting a little line here down the bridge of the nose, a small amount in the center of the forehead a little bit, just right above the brows, and then also right around the eye area. This concealer contains caffeine, so it really helps to wake up and de-puff the eye area, also reducing redness and any dark circles underneath the eyes, which is amazing. And to blend this out, I'm just using one of my Armani concealer brushes. Just makes it so easy to blend around the eye area. I'm also just being really mindful of my placement when blending. To really extend this glow that I have going on, I'm gonna go in and set the contour with my Luminous Silk Glow Setting Powder. 
I am obsessed with using this Armani contouring brush to do so. By using the brush in this C shape, it really sculpts the cheeks and it just makes it really easy to apply. And I'm just using the shade seven because it softly defines and adds a little bit of pigment into the skin without overdoing it. And then starting in the hairline, I'm gonna start blending down. I'm also obsessed with using this around the nose area and blending my contour into the brows. It just makes it so effortless and easy. So if you wanna set your makeup, but you don't want it to look powdery, you have to try the Luminous Silk Setting Powder. It just works like a dream and it never looks textured on the skin. To add a little color into my cheeks, I'm gonna be using my Bite Daycation Blush in the shade Melon Mojito. Just tapping this into the tops of the cheeks just to give my skin a little bit of color and blending everything in an upward direction. And then I'm just gonna press it in right around the nose area just to make my skin look like I have a rosy kind of sunburn look. To warm up my eyes for a more monochromatic look, I'm gonna be focusing on the warm tones in the Ash K Home Buxom eyeshadow palette and starting off with the shade Teddy in my crease. To start creating a shape, I'm just gonna keep my eyes open, looking straight so I can see exactly where I need to place this product. And I'm just focusing on kind of sculpting the outer corner of my eye to give it a more lifted look. I'm also gonna contour the outer corner of my lid as well, just to add a bit more depth. And then as you get to the crease, you can really soften up your touch so that way your blend looks really smooth. And I promise you guys, when these brushes are ready to launch, you'll be first to know. Next, I'm gonna take the Coral shade 1989 and just sweep this into the crease. Taking the shade Living, I'm just gonna apply this down the bridge of my nose with my pinky. This makes the most amazing face highlighter. And then really softly, I'm just gonna take my finger and pat stacks into the inner corner of the eye. Bringing it onto the lid and right above the crease. To add some definition to my lash line, I'm gonna go in with the shade Rich Rich using an angled liner brush. And I'm just applying this dry to the eyes as a liner, but you can also apply it wet. And these eyeshadows are extremely pigmented, so a little goes such a long way, you barely have to use any product. I'm gonna top off this eye look with my Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara. Just brushing my lashes in an upward, outward direction to go with the shape of the eyeshadow and liner. It's a great mascara to use if you don't wanna do false lashes, because it really lengthens the lashes. They'll never look clumpy, but you'll get a really beautiful wispy look. And I'm just gonna apply a really soft amount to my lower lash line, so that way the upper lashes look more lifted. For lips, I'm gonna be lining my lips with the Armani Smooth Silk Lip Pencil in the shade 10. I'm gonna start off by lining the natural shape of my lips, and then I'll slightly start to overdraw only in the center. But what I love about these pencils is that they're so rich and creamy. They just melt into the lips, but they also don't move. So you really get that all day wear. And by filling the lips in entirely with the lip liner, it really just ensures that this lip is not going to move throughout the day. Next, I'm using Giorgio Armani's new highly moisturizing lip power lipstick in shade 601. This formula has been my new obsession lately because it's so pigmented and hydrating at the same time. And the bullet shape also makes it so easy to apply when needing quick precision, especially with a bold lip. And if you ever need to clean up the lip, you can always use what's left over on your concealer brush and just kind of go around the edges. I love how bold this lip is. It really ties in all the beautiful warm tones in my skin. So that completes today's warm tone romantic look. Let me know in the comments what you guys enjoyed most from this tutorial and I'll see you soon. Are we, are you kidding me? No, no, no. With an angled brush, I'm gonna, bleh. no. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oops. <laughs> Not everyone will appreciate or even fully understand your magic. That takes nothing away from its majesty. Those who don't believe in the magic will never find it and it is truly their misfortune.